everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Fender Bunny, and my channel focuses on the wild adventures that I like to take, and I bring you guys along with me on those adventures. I also do different product reviews, but if you wanna be able to keep coming with me on those wild adventures and seeing the product reviews, don't forget to hit the subscription button, don't forget to hit that notification bell, and by all means, keep hitting that like button after you watch my videos. In today's video, I'm actually going to be helping out a friend. They have an existing LED headlight on this bike that's next to me. They're not real happy with the overall um, function of the light, so they've actually have an LED headlight from Fa LED Factory Mart. They've seen some of our previous videos and they were really impressed with the product, so they got one and they've asked me to help them out today, so I'm gonna go in ahead and install that LED Factory Mart headlight on their, onto their bike. So before I can do that, I need to go ahead and get changed into my work clothes. Okay, I got my work clothes on, so I'm ready to go ahead and swap out these headlights. One important thing to remember when you're buying any kind of parts to change out is that you have to know the year, make, and model so that you can get the right part. For this particular bike, it is an 04 Harley Davidson soft tail standard. So that's the light that we're gonna be putting on for it. Just like anything, you know, I like to do it before and after. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so you guys can actually see what this particular light looks like. That's just low beams. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the high beams look like. So you know, there's some light there. They just weren't real happy with the performance. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn it back off and I'm gonna get ready to swap out those headlights. Open up our box. Just as a reminder, it doesn't take a whole lot to swap out headlights. There's actually just one little screw down here that I'm gonna loosen up and then this is gonna come out. I'm just gonna um, unplug the headlight, plug it back in and put everything back together. So this is just going to be a real quick video today to show you guys the difference. Okay. And that's what the light looks like. Okay, let's right here. Another thing that I do like to do when I'm out in the garage, especially, you know, with bikes and paint and stuff, I do have one of my workout mats. It is clean. I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck this in on the spender. I would hate to, to drop anything and scratch the spender in any way, so just like to be safe. Okay, that should be good. First step, I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the screw. Get down here so I can see it. Watch it, it should be just about loose. Okay, go ahead and do the rest of this by my hand so I don't lose anything. Like that, just fell out of my hand there. Take that down. And then this is just gonna wiggle off there. It's holding it so gently. And then it's just a matter of I'm connecting this little connector right here. Get my fingers right. I'm just finishing tightening this one little screw up. As I said before, taking out a little headlight doesn't take a whole lot. It's just a matter of unscrewing, popping it off, popping it back in, and tightening everything back up. Let's go ahead and see what the new light looks like for them. This is the low light, and then this is the high. Low and then high. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but I have a blank wall in front of me, and I wish that I would have shown you guys the before and after using that white wall, because with this new light, there is definitely a huge difference that I'm seeing on the white wall. The patterning is much, much bigger. I know that my friend is really gonna like this new light. They're gonna be happier with this performance. But let's go ahead and turn it out. I'm glad that I was able to help them out today. You know, it's still really cold and yucky outside, so we can't get out and ride yet. We do have a couple other little projects that we wanna do to our little project bike that we're going to get started within the next couple weeks before the warmer weather comes. Um, you know, and as always, we really appreciate you guys watching and until next time, stay safe.